all about. So please uh, pay attention to the screen. So the first uh, important activity, as all of us understand, the very foundational activity of artificial intelligence is to provide compute infrastructure. And uh, there are two very worthy partners who have decided to support Telangana government's ambition to develop AI city and an AI ecosystem. And it is my honor to invite representatives from CDAC. CDAC is a government of India agency. Center for Development of Advanced Computing and Yota, Mr. Sunil Gupta and his colleagues to please come up on the dais and uh, greet uh, Honorable Chief Minister, Honorable Minister, receive their blessing. Sir, both these companies will be providing uh, compute infrastructure. Sir, you met Yota, Mr. Sunil Gupta. He is committing 25,000 GPUs in our AI city, the largest such facility anywhere in the country. CDAC will be providing 20 petaflops in our AI city. Request uh, Lakshmi Garu to please introduce CDAC members. Request Mr. Sunil Gupta to introduce Yota representatives. Lakshmi, I would request you to display the slides also about Yota and CDAC. For the benefit of the audience, Yota is the delivery partner for NVIDIA. So all the advancements in the compute technologies that NVIDIA is delivering, Yota is uh, the implementation partner, execution partner for our country. And as I said, 25,000 capacity GPUs is being committed, which will come up in the AI city. I also recognize the presence of Mr. Vishal Dupar, head of uh, NVIDIA India. Thank you, Vishalji, for coming here. The second set of partnerships relate to center of excellences. This is again something which Honorable IT Minister was very particular, that AI city is not just buildings and concrete and land. It is also about the work which happens there. And nothing more important to showcase the work that happens in the AI city than the centers of excellence. So I'm happy to inform that we have uh, two partnerships, two companies who have committed to open their center of excellences in the AI city. The first one is PATH, Fix AI PATH, which will be setting up a center of excellence in AI for public health. PATH is a very, I, I would request PATH representatives, Resham and her colleagues to come up. The second uh, company which will be setting up a center of excellence in AI city is Nazara. Nazara is the biggest gaming company in our country, the biggest uh, platform which publishes game. And this is again a very important application of AI, game development, gaming development using this particular center of excellence. So I would request Deepak from Nazara and uh, representatives of PATH to please come up and uh, receive uh, greetings from Honorable Chief Minister and Honorable Minister.
Thank you. Thank you very much, team Path and also Nazara, Deepak from Nazara. I can assure both of you that the state government will provide the best talent that you require to run your centers of excellence. And uh, the centers of excellence tomorrow should become global beacons where uh, people take inspiration from. Talking about skilling, we also have uh, four very important partnerships related to skilling. And within the government, we consider this as the most important responsibility for all of us. When we are inviting the world to come to Hyderabad, it is our responsibility that uh, skills are made available to them. Honorable Chief Minister, as many of you would know, has already announced a world-class Young India Skills University. And uh, the skill sets requirement in the domain of AI also will be a part of our skilling university. I'm happy to inform you, sir, that four companies have come forward to support skilling programs in our skill university. And I would like to invite representatives of AWS, representatives of Microsoft, Next Wave, and this is a very interesting program. This is called South Asian Women in Tech, SAVIT. Each of these will partner with Telangana government, more particularly the Skills University of Telangana, to provide AI-related skilling. AWS, for example, will deliver Gen AI, machine learning, and cloud computing, computing courses. Microsoft will provide uh, courses on digital productivity. Also have taken the responsibility to train government officials. Next, we will work on students. Their target is to train 100,000, 1 lakh students. And South Asia Women in Tech will train 100,000 women in AI in the state of Telangana. Hello. Honorable Chief Minister was very particular when he had given us the task to establish Skill University that no course should be run in the Skills University without private sector involvement. He wanted private sector to adopt all the schools, all the courses of the Skill University. And I'm very proud to share that four of the leading companies and institutions, AWS, Microsoft, Nextwave, and Savit, the South Asian women in tech have joined hands with Telangana government to deliver all these very important AI-related courses in our skill university. With, the, with uh, all these uh, skilling partners, the first batch of courses will be starting somewhere in December or January. So I see lots of young people in the audience. Please keep an eye on these announcements. And whichever skill course you feel is relevant for you, please enroll as early as you can. We have the next set of partnership announcements, which again is something very critical. Many of you would have participated in such summits elsewhere also. All kinds of announcements are made, but government shows very little interest in monitoring what exactly is happening because of these partnerships. What kind of benefits are coming? What kind of impact is getting created? So we have invited possibly the best institution in the world to support Telangana government in impact assessment. Whatever AI activities that we implement on the ground, we want to take the help of Abdul Latif Jamil Poverty Action Lab, what is popularly called JPAL. Many of you would be aware it is a unit instituted in MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology in uh, Cambridge, Boston. It is founded by Nobel laureates Abhijit Banerjee and Esther Duflo. And uh, they have come forward at, to our request for setting up a monitoring unit for all our AI initiatives. And I request Iqbal Singh Dariwal, Aditi Nabde to greet the dignitaries.
so this one decision alone that while we announce all kinds of things there will be an independent third party monitoring institution as well that itself goes to show the kind of sincerity that honorable chief minister honorable minister have in ensuring that whatever we deliver is delivered with intent with purpose and keeping the impact the welfare of people of this state of telangana foremost in our mind i now have the proud privilege to invite the architect of today's summit the two days global ai summit honorable minister for it industries and legislative affairs mr d sridhar babu garu to deliver his address very good morning to all and welcome to our proud state of telangana and to the city of hyderabad our honorable cm sri revanth reddy garu the esteemed guests on the days the esteemed guests of the days friends from the media met we stand at the threshold of a new era where artificial intelligence will redefine the way we live we live work and also we dream our state of telangana with its unwavering commitment to technology and innovation is not just participating in this revolution we would like to lead and we are going to lead it this is an imperative statement not from me but it's from honorable chief minister and from the people of telangana and also the best brains and the best gray matter what we have in the state of telangana as everybody knows and everybody has seen telangana has always been a land of vision and progress from our early days as a state we have set ambitious goals and achieved them with determination and the clarity of purpose as our state stands as a beacon of growth with an 11.3% year on year economic growth rate and the projected gross state domestic product gsdb of us dollars of 176 billion with highest per capita income in the country at 4160 us dollars Telangana commitment to the prosperity of every citizen is evident. Our vision is to elevate Telangana into a trillion dollar economy in the near future as the dream and the vision set by our honorable chief minister. In this context our journey is of into AI is not just a natural progression we would like to take a bold leap into the future according to the nascom has told by mohan reddy garu this nascom 2024 ai adoption index 2.0 india's ai market is on the steep upward trajectory expected to grow at a rate of 25 to 35% compound annual growth rate over the next 3 to 4 years telangana we would like to place and position ourselves to harness this growth this collaborative approach is essential for creating a framework 
that is both innovative and ethically sound ensuring that ai serve the greater good while safeguarding the individual rights and societal values to further enrich this process we will invite ai experts from across the globe to work with us in shaping this policies this will be complemented by engaging a broader global community academia industry and the public to crowdsource the ideas and also the solutions this approach of us will allow us to stay at the forefront of ai advancements as we continue to update our policies based on the insights and development from in and around the world we will also implement the stringent regulations to prevent the misuse of the ai technologies such as deep fakes and ai driven misinformation thereby protecting individuals institutions and democratic processes we would like in the uh, in this manner we would like to take the help of you know the premier institutions of law the vco here the mr krishna devaraya is here and we would like to sensitize ourselves in framing and regulating the policy framework from around the globe additionally we will democratize data access by making anonymous government data widely available fueling ai innovation while ensuring stringent data privacy and security measures infrastructure alone however as said by our a special csj is not sufficient to drive the innovation we aspire to achieve this is why we are forging partnership with leading universities and the corporations to ensure that the ai research in telangana is deep and broad fostering an environment where ideas can flourish and transformed into real world solutions we would like to support ai driven workforce transformation we would like to promote ai literacy and public engagement we shall ensure accountability in ai deployment we will combat ai driven misinformation we shall leverage ai for sustainable development we are taking the japan's uh, example of balancing innovation with ethical ai we would like to also see you know not only hyderabad our chief minister mr revanth reddy and our government uh, vision is to see that we make all our 33 districts in telangana as a growth engines which shall be contributing to our overarching goal of becoming a a 1 trillion dollar economy in the near future and 3 trillion economy in the next decade this is not just a vision not a dream it is a plan backed by strategic investments robust infrastructure and unyielding focus on innovation this is more than our goal it is our collective destiny a future where every citizen benefits from advancements we pioneer and where telangana stands as the global beacon of progress and innovation in line with our honorable chief minister we are establishing the ai city artificial intelligence city on a 200 acre site near hyderabad dedicating a ecosystem for ai research development and also their applications this is an ambitious project i do agree but we are committed and we will place telangana at the heart of the global ai innovation solidifying our state as a technological powerhouse while this ai city takes shape we are ensuring that ai driven companies can come can commence operations quickly by partnering with you know uh, 
WTC, the World Trade Center, Chemshabad, offering 2 lakh square feet of world class office as an interim measure, ever not. This strategic initiative not only accelerates the establishment of AI companies in our state, but also lays the groundwork for further expansion in AI city once it is ready. The AI city will be cradle for groundbreaking advancement, but our vision doesn't stop here. AI city will host the premier R&D institutions, the best and the oncoming AI product companies and also we shall see that the startup, the innovation takes place in AI city and also we will be establish a AI school of excellence in this AI city of us. Finally, our AI policies will be designed to evolve with technological advancement shall ensure that our frameworks remains relevant and effective in addressing emerging challenges opportunities in AI. Together, you're all here. We will not just transform our state. We will redefine what is possible, making AI work for everyone and setting new standards for economic and technological excellence on the world stage. With this, I welcome you all. Hope your next two days of the session will be bright, will be useful, will be informative, will be dedicated for the growth of the AI industry, for the growth of AI innovation, and the excellence in AI research shells and should start from here and your deliberations and discussions for the next two days will go a long way in the channels of our history. With this, I would like to conclude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister, for your very enlightening remarks. All of you heard Honorable Minister mention this that the state will strive to become AI-powered state, AI-powered Telangana. I'm happy to inform you that over the last two months or so, we have done lots of exercises to prepare a roadmap on exactly how the state will become an AI-powered state. We, I'm, great, I'm uh, <clears throat> glad to inform that we received support from a very eminent Delhi-based think tank called Samagra in uh, preparing this roadmap and I would request the dignitaries to please uh, release the document which explains this roadmap. I would also like to inform members of the audience that immediately after the unveiling of this publication, the website of our IT department, it.telangana.gov.in will have uh, copies of this so you can download it there will also be qr codes through which you can download this publication this will this will make it very clear to you what the state government commits to do over the next three four years to really become an ai powered state request my colleague ramadevi garu to get the book launched by honorable would request vineet also from samagra to join on the stage and gaurav and anyone else who are from samagra
I would uh, take a minute to quickly explain what are the salient future features of our AI roadmap to convert the state into an AI powered state. As I said, the document can be downloaded from our website and we'll be showing the QR code also. But there are six important points. The first one is that by 2027, we will be striving to deliver AI driven services to one crore plus people, which will be in the sectors like agriculture, health, education, mobility, etc. In all the government departments, we will be appointing AI nodal officers who will ensure that whatever uh, delivery has to take place vis a vis their department, that path is made very, very smooth. In fact, this is something which the, even the national government is struggling with in how do you ensure that AI is opt, adopted in all ministries. The third important thing will be that we will set up an open data exchange platform for access and exchange of high quality data sets for building AI assets. This will be called TG Dex. We will also be introducing AI curriculum in all the government schools to ensure that all the students of our state are AI literate and AI equipped. We will be starting a campaign called AI for All, as our minister also announced in his speech, which will be started to educate and empower all the citizens in AI and also integrate AI tools in daily life. And the most important announcement, of course, glimpses of it has already been shared that we will be launching an AI city, a center for the future, which possibly will be the last item of this inaugural ceremony. There is one additional point also, which is there in our roadmap. As all of us know, AI has become extremely language dependent. All the algorithms, all the models, all the data sets are, that are currently being used are in English language. In India, there are so many non-English languages which are spoken and therefore as a government to make AI for all really a actionable concept, we will be setting lots of uh, high quality data sets in Telugu language so that the local ecosystem is empowered to leverage this data to build innovative AI solution, which brings us to the next set of MOUs. And uh, one of the important MOUs in the next set actually relates to the <clears throat> usage of local language models. I would like to invite two important partners who will be supporting state government on the startup innovation related to AI. All of us know that while there are large companies like the Googles and the Metas and the IBMs and the NVIDIAs, but lots of innovation is being done by young startups, young entrepreneurs, young innovators. And as a state, we are committed to provide all facilities which they require to really scale up their solutions and come up with solutions and products which are really relevant for the society, for the people, for the government, which have the potential to create a very wide social impact. I'm happy to share that two leading companies, OpenAI and NVIDIA, have decided to support innovation programs run by the state government. NVIDIA will train 5,000 students in developing through their uh, NVIDIA's Deep Learning Institute program and they will also provide uh, annual provision of 150 to 300 thousand dollars in credits through the Nvidia startup inception. And OpenAI will provide API credits to the startups which have been selected by the government. Request uh, uh, Vishal Duparji and uh, Pragya to please uh, come to the stage and greet the dignitaries.
much. Partnership with OpenAI and NVIDIA gives a true stamp of excellence on whatever we are planning to do now. We mentioned about partnerships where we will be giving prominence to local language and again two important institutions have come forward to partner us. One of them is a Government of India Meti initiative called Bhashini which will collaborate with Telangana government to ensure that uh, their language translation API is integrated into various official platforms and services across the state and the next company which is signing up today with uh, Telangana government is Meta which will deploy their open source Gen AI technology like Lama again focused on the native language request representatives from Bhashini, Mr. Amitabh Nag and Meta, Mr. Sunil Abraham to please come on the stage. Partnerships is about research and collaboration. As was pointed out by BVR Mohan Reddy Garu in his speech, we are indeed blessed to have so many world-class knowledge institutions, research institutions, and uh, each of these institutions have also started working in AI. Their faculty members are involved in cutting-edge research, but they have all committed that whatever is the important research agenda for the government also, they will collaborate and strengthen it further. So it is my pleasure to invite representatives of five leading institutions of our state, ISB, IIT Hyderabad, NALSAR, BITS Hyderabad, and NIT Warangal. Senior uh, representatives, leadership of these academic institutions to please come up on the stage. Some of them are already here the Nalsar Vice Chancellor, Triple IT Director. Thank you. Thank you very much. While we are formally signing partnership MOUs with all the local institutions, we also have the presence of senior leadership from one of the most renowned global institution, an American university which is considered gold standard for all aspiring engineering students from India which is the Georgia Institute of Technology. So Georgia Tech is represented here. We could not formalize the MOU, but they have also agreed in principle to support Telangana government in all its research and innovation activities. I would, love, I would request Mr. Bernard Kippelen, Vice Provost of Global Initiatives, Professor Vivek Sarkar, Dean of Computing, and uh, Professor Devesh Ranjan, Chair of Mechanical Engineering, to please come up to the stage and greet the dignitaries. When you come up on the stage, be prepared that Honorable Chief Minister will ask you to start a Georgia Tech campus in our education hub in the future city.
थैंक यू वेरी मच Thank you very much. There is one other very important part of work of AI, which is undermined. We don't speak about it. We surely don't acknowledge the role of that particular aspect of work in particularly these kind of global conferences. But our attitude, our stance towards this is very very different. all of us who work in ai know the importance of data organizing data annotation data cleansing these are considered to be low end work it does not require phd kind of skills no student of georgia tech will do these kind of things but these are also very very important unless data is available in a way which is ready to be run through machine learning through algorithm development nothing of what we see in ai will really stand our government has realized the value of this aspect of ai related work also and i'm happy to inform that three institutions are coming forward to support our interest in creating good number of jobs and opportunities for people who will be engaged in tier 2 and tier 3 locations in telangana jntu is starting an earn while you learn program which is a paid internship program for students which